y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. And I'm on today with our sort of typical tutorial Saturday that is both for new and all levels of all levels of crafting. We called it the first month we ran it Newbie Saturday. Um, and you'll recognize the thumbnail because that's I'm still using the Newbie Saturday. But I, we said we would do it for a month and it seems to have retained its popularity. So now we're just calling it like Tutorial Saturday, something that we're sharing with you that we've learned. And because we're about to enter the season of Christmas crafting that stretches from now all the way until December, and we're starting our Halloween crafting that stretches from now until October, I thought what we would talk about today is digitals versus paper collections. What are the benefits? What are the costs? I'm choosing to use a blend of both, but maybe after I give you this information, you can make your own decisions about which way to go. So I did buy what this collection, which is called Carnival by Doodlebug. And Heather found it for me because I was having a really hard time finding a paper collection to buy that I liked. Last year, I used a lot of this collection, which is Hey Pumpkin. And I'm still going to be using this because one, I have an extra paper pad and two, I have all the digital ephemeras, which we're going to talk about why I bought those in digitals um, when we talk about the digital versus purchasing. Um, but let me show you this collection called Carnival from Doodlebug. Last year when I was in the Holy Land, Anne, Crafty Kimchi, hi Anne, was gracious enough to send me Doodlebug's Halloween because I didn't have any supplies. So I didn't even know I liked Doodlebug. It's a little too cutesy for me full time, but I liked the Halloween collection. And Heather said to me, have you seen Carnival? It's got a lot of cotton candy and popcorn and colors that you really like. So I took a look at it online and I did like it, but y'all, it's pricey. I'm about to show you what I got for my money. So I got 12 sheets of cardstock and one sheet of stickers. And this, this almost everywhere is $25. I got it on sale because you know I'm frugal, but I'll tell you, it still hurt me to pay what I paid for, especially when I tell you how much I paid for my digital paper pads. Okay, so let's talk about this collection. So the comes with a sheet of cut aparts. Now it's not quite pastel, it's more brights. So, but it's, in other words, it's not just in typical Halloween colors. So Hey Pumpkin is very black and orange dominant. And last year, Echo Park's collection had a lot of red in it, which I did not care for. So this year I wanted to really make sure that I was, this is my favorite page and it, the other side is my other favorite page. I wish they had not put these two on the same page. Uh, it's the carnival page, which I love, and the ticket page, all on the same page. Ugh, I wish they put it on a page I didn't like so much. Or I could have sacrificed like one of these two. Like why couldn't that have been one side the ticket? Oh, folks, I was so disappointed. All right, hold on. Then there's this cute page with the popcorn and the cotton candy. And then there's one thing I do like about Doodlebug is that when you buy their pieces, it has a lot of people. And that's what I learned when Anne sent me the collection is that I liked it because it had a lot of people. So it was easy for me to craft with. They had this pattern and sent me this pattern last year and this is the back they also had this pattern last year in their collection and then this is the back and then there's black and white stripe and then there's these cute little spiders with pink eyes which i do really like and then there's ferris wheel explosions and then on the other side there's cut aparts there's a polka dot page Sorry, I'm so slow doing this. There is a polka dot page and a black and white page, which I don't really care for. It's sort of for you to color in, but this would take a lot to color in. It really would. But there's a polka dot page and then there is another cut apart page. So this collection is called Candy Carnival. That's the name of it. I will tell you, I bought a kit as a gift for someone when it went on sale. This is a kit you can buy y'all. It comes with the enamel dots. It comes with a 3D little guy dressed up, more enamel dots, some candies, some stickers, some alphas, and the paper. And how many sheets of the paper do you get in this kit? Hold on, y'all. I don't know if it actually tells me how many pages. One, two, three, four, five. You get six pieces of the paper. So instead of getting 12, like you do in here, but you get all of these pieces. I bought this to mail to a friend who can't get Halloween supplies so easily. This was a much better deal, I thought. This was about $15. And you get everything. So this is basically all you would need for a swap for 15 bucks. I think that's a better deal. But most of the projects I like to make for Halloween require more paper. 
So I had to suck it up and buy the bigger pack. Okay, so this is about 20, $24 everywhere. I didn't pay that for it, I got it on sale. And then on top of that, because I didn't get this, you have to buy the enamel dots, the things, all the little pieces, and the ephemera. So it's pretty pricey, y'all. I will tell you that, like for instance, digitals like these that I bought for my vintage crafting. So this is like a vintage ephemera pack. Okay, so you have to pay for your ink, so depending upon how expensive your printer is. But these come with like little mini envelopes, they come with ephemera, um, they're really cute. You can alter the size, you can alter the tone of color, um, you can do all sorts of things with these. These will run you anywhere online from 99 cents to $3, and they're yours forever. So you can print as many as you want. Here's what I'm going to tell you. So I paid, let's say, $20 for that 12 by 12. You can buy a seamless, that's very important, it has to be seamless, or you're going to have lots of horrible marks on your paper, a seamless Halloween Pastelloween paper pad on Etsy for $2. I know, because I did. I bought two of them and they're really cute so I will mix and match those with this collection but I paid two dollars for it now they're mine forever so I can print as many sheets as I want what gets expensive is your ink so as I told you my husband bought my printer here for me as a gift and unfortunately bought me one where the printer ink is expensive but if you're not printing out 300 sheets it's not as expensive as buying a paper pad in my opinion if you're looking for a pastel ink collection you might be better off buying it online and printing it digitally. Because that's a lot of money to pay for paper, y'all, that you can only use one time. And my digital collections for two bucks, I can print over and over and over again. So for me, the for Halloween, like I had this still in my stash because I had ordered it thinking I would be back already in North America. So I had one waiting for me. Um, so I had this paper pad. Now, so because I had this paper pad, I bought the digitals for the ephemera. So the digital ephemera on American Crafts are like $3. Here's what I'm gonna tell you, y'all. That's a much better buy than buying them in the store for a number of reasons. Not only can you resize them, so you can make them big, 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 or you can make them small, 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 but also there are many pieces that are not in the ephemera packs that we buy at the store. So I, I liked this paper collection a lot for orange and black. I could cut it open and show it to you. Um, I'm sure you've all seen it because everyone used it last year, but that's basically what the paper is on the back. Okay, what I will tell you is that the ephemera pack had way more pieces, way more pieces than we get when we go and buy one in the store. So it's a way more versatile pack and it has way more people. And you know my complaint is that there are never enough people. Well, you can just keep reprinting the people and using them. So I will be using Hey Pumpkin and Carnival, plus some digitals, both the digitals for Hey Pumpkin and the digitals I bought to augment the carnival. Okay, well, let's talk about Christmas. Let's talk about Christmas. Cartabella has a really cute, if you don't wanna do pastel Christmas, if you wanna do red and, and um, a more traditional Christmas, Cartabella has this really cute vintage collection. It's called Merry Christmas, and all of the images are kind of Jetson-like, if you guys remember the Jetsons, and it has music page sheets, all of the imagery, it has some snow globes. Um, it's really a cute collection. Um, and the sticker sheet actually has tons. So there, you can get an idea of how vintagey it is. Okay, so again, this runs about $15 versus, and that, that gives you everything you need. So you could make like a whole, you could probably make a swap out of this because you get how many sheets of paper? This one's better, you get more paper. You could do a whole swap out of this if you were careful and you planned well. So that would only be a $15 investment. But again, I'm gonna tell you like, so here are some pastel digitals I bought for my swap, uh, not my swap, my collab with Crafty Michelle. Again, I have them forever. I can alter them, I can change the size, I can change the color, they're mine forever. If I need five more of these, I can just print five more of these. If I use up all, all of this, unless I have scanned it and copied it, I'm gonna run out. So, there, look, there are advantages and disadvantages, and I'm gonna tell you this, because I've been doing a lot of printing lately for Kayla, for Heather, for Carmen, and for Jellybean. 
if you're using an expensive printer and you're going to print out a ton of digitals, you definitely don't want to do that without having uh, an inkwell, an inkwell printer that you can refill the ink because it'll be end up costing you a lot more than buying one of these kits. It really will. But if you're really only going to do like one swap and maybe a series of Christmas cards, you may want to investigate digitals before you go and purchase a paper collection for $25 or $20. And I say that only because you can buy a 500 ream stack of very good quality cardstock for $10 and run these all off yourself and have indefinite access to them. And then you're only paying one fee and that's it. Now you have to have the patience to print and you have to have the patience to either fussy cut or to own a brother scan and cut. I don't own a brother scan and cut. I do all the cutting of the ephemera myself. That's what took so long for Carmen and Jelly Bean stuff. And I didn't even fussy cut all their ephemera. I, I did it differently. I only did a little bit of fussy cutting for them. Uh, the rest they're going to have to do for themselves. But Jelly Bean has a, a scan and cut so she can just scan it in and cut it. But I will tell you that if you're looking to save money while still doing really great crafting, I mean, this kit is better. This is enough. that has enough paper, enough stickers, enough ephemera that if you were cautious, you could do a whole swap with this. But the per one I purchased, not enough to do a whole swap, y'all. You have to actually go and augment this. And that's already, at most stores, this is $25. And I think after looking on Etsy and very carefully making choices, the I bought three pastel Halloween collections for under $5. And they're mine forever. And again, I'm going to remind you, not only can you keep reprinting them, but you also can adjust color. Sometimes, sometimes they set the color so you can't. But for the most part, you're able to adjust the color and the size. So, you know, I used to get projects from Lily and from Anne and from other people where the Maggie Holmes ephemera was much larger, so it looked much better on their altered hoops. I would do an alter hoop and I would be using store-bought ephemera. Well, theirs looked better because they had enlarged the size of the ephemera, y'all. If you have the ability digitally to do that, well, then you can make things teeny, teeny, teeny or really, really big. And that gives you the power to do print ephemera according to your needs for a project. Also, uh, you know, Tony let us know, Craft Burge, that the flowers that she recently got in Sweet Story were not the best quality cardstock. When you're doing this yourself and using digitals, you choose the cardstock that it's printed on. And that means you can have it nice and thicker if you want it to be. So, or as thin as you want it to be, because if you're Alicia Lovelace generation, you won't want it thick. So it's the ability to control what you're doing. So not only is it less expensive, but it also enables you to control size and you have it indefinitely. So you can keep reprinting and reprinting and reprinting. You know, the thing is you won't have something that's on trend. So what you have to ask yourself is how important is trend to you and how important is convenience? I will tell you having done a ton of digital printing lately, it does take a long time. My printer is great quality. So because of that, it's slow. It's slow. I have to, you know, I don't get a lot of paper jams, but I certainly need a lot of patience to print things like this. So you have to do a lot of planning. You know, Heather's video today was about planning. And I think that what I'm learning is if you're going to use digitals, you have to allocate time for printing them out and for properly organizing them in your computer and making sure that you leave time, enough time to print them all out so you're not rushing. So if you're a convenience person, you're not going to love the digitals. You'll love that you don't have to wait. If, like, you know, there's nothing worse than crafting in the middle of the night and running out of ephemera. Well, you're at no risk of that if you use a digital. But if you're a person who just wants the paper ready to go and you don't want to have to print it, well, then you know what? You're not going to care for a digital because you have to plan it. You have to print it. You often have to cut it. So it, it's more work, but it's far less expensive in the long run, y'all. Far less expensive. I mean, I bought this collection from Carnival because I'm doing a swap with Cynthia Aguilar and I wanted a certain aesthetic. So I was, this aesthetic was not available in digitals. So I did buy digitals to augment with it to augment it though because I thought there were some elements missing from this and I found them online on Etsy that I thought were super cute and would actually enrich the look of this pad and enrich the whole experience and would extend the life of what I did purchase but you know this this type of thing was not available that's why I made the purchase but for the most part y'all whatever you can imagine is available via digitals and if you're worried about being on trend so for instance my hey pumpkin 
is crepe paper, right? That's definitely on trend for if you're a Maggie crafter. De well, I have the digitals for this. So I'm just, I'm just choosing to print them myself rather than buy a pack at a time. You know, when that whole snow and cocoa craze was on, why didn't we just buy them digitally and print them ourselves? That way we didn't have to run from store to store trying to find it. It was available online. So that's a little tip to you. Almost every collection is available through AC Digitals online. I'll put a link to their shop down below. You can buy one ephemera pack, you can buy the whole kit. You could buy the paper and all the ephemera for $15, or you can do like I do half the time and just buy the ephemera for $3 a pack. And sometimes they're on sale for even less. I don't think they have Sweet Story yet. They tend to wait till it's released in store and then put it on digitals, but they sure have snow and cocoa, y'all. For those of you getting ready and gearing up for Christmas crafting, they've got snow and cocoa. So I'll put a link to AC Digitals down below. And the other thing I'll say to you is um, there are several really great digital suppliers on Etsy. There's an artist who I bought my Pastelloween collection from. She hand drew. I mean, it doesn't have a ton of variety, but it's perfect to augment what I did with this. It's perfect. Um, you know, there's a ton of artists who are making their living by selling their digital reproductions online, including people in our community, like Crafty Michelle, who has an Etsy shop. Um, you know, I think it's great that we support our fellow crafters, but don't be limited just by what you're seeing on Instagram or Pinterest. Check out Etsy. Spend a couple of nights investigating. Type in Halloween digitals into Etsy and you'll be amazed with what comes up. Everything from traditional to Halloween to scary. You know, there's a really big variety. You have to make a decision what better suits you. It's certainly easier to just go to the store and buy it all. But I'll tell you, it's also a lot more expensive and you don't get as many supplies. I like variety, so I'm willing to do the extra work. In this case, it's actually, for me, not about saving money. For me, it's about the ability to resize the image and to be able to shrink it and make it mini and the fact that I'll never run out. I'm often crafting at three in the morning. If I ever run out, I just have to print it. So I like that. I like that convenience. But some of you may find after investigating that you like the convenience of just buying the paper pack. Here's what I'd suggest. Why not do a low test investment? I bought two of my Pastelloween pads for under $2. I think they were a dollar on sale for a dollar something each. Why not make a $3 investment and see how you like it? Try it out for under $3. And if you like it, well, then you know that and you'll continue to make a bigger investment. All right, y'all, I hope this was useful. Uh, you know, you're going to have to decide for yourself what works better, but I wanted to let you sort of see. I will tell you, I have a very good quality printer. That's why it's expensive. So my digitals really come out with extremely good clarity. If I, you know, not every printer is going to give you this clarity. That's because my husband bought a really good printer with very expensive ink. But that does mean it's easy for me to print digitals. You know, they come out just as well as the store ones. And that's super nice. It really is. Um, and again, take a look because there's everything from vintage to shabby to mixed media. I mean, there's every type there. Pastelloween, cutesy, girly. It, collections you've never even dreamed of exist in digitals, y'all. And you know, just because stuff's trendy doesn't mean it's the best stuff. Take a look on Etsy's digitals. You might be blown away. I bet you there's a bunch of things there that you, you just can't believe exist because they've never been in a Tuesday morning or a scrapbook.com or a cherry on top. So this is a video to help you broaden your horizons, your making horizons. I hope it was helpful and I might see you again tonight or I may not, we'll see. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Wishing you a happy, healthy 4th of July. Bye for now.